Hello, hello, good morning. Today I'm in a rush. Uh, I've got an MOT in like an hour, but I need oil. And I did not think about this yesterday in time and the shop I went to had no oil. Isn't that fun? So yeah, so I'm in a bit of a rush. So uh, I probably won't take the camera along with me because it's gonna be a bit of a faff and a bit of a stress, but uh, Maddie may film. I'm gonna have a nice fun bike ride later, so uh, wish me luck and I'll see you later. Good morning, it is actually the morning. Um, Alex is out at the garage having an MOT on his car. I've just been sat at this table all morning working. Um, I posted a video on Instagram because I haven't done that in a while and I wanna start doing recipe videos on my Instagram again because I really enjoyed that. So I've just done that and it's 11 o'clock and I've had a bit of a weird morning because usually I go to the gym in the morning and usually I go outside and I have a pretty like regular routine and if I'm not at the gym, we'll do a bike ride or a run and it's always in the morning and because we haven't done it in the morning today, we're going for a bike ride later because of Alex's MOT, I'm like done with what I need to do and it's like 11 and now I need to film. Whereas usually I, I start kind of getting on with this type of thing around half nine, 10 and then I'm not done till like lunchtime. So it's like weird, like the, the, there's been like an extra hour and a half for my morning and I'm done early and I want to eat now, but it's like quarter past 11. I don't know, it's really strange. It's like if, you, if your routine is switched, everything feels a bit weird. So I think I might just have my lunch now and just, it's gotta be acceptable because who cares? Maybe I'll show you my lunch, maybe I won't. Um, today I'm filming a declutter video. Some of you might be pleased because it's been a while and I really need to sort out and switch over my wardrobe. So I'll show you the situation, it's pretty bad. So this is my wardrobe that I've had out for winter and the way I did it when we moved is I just put out all my winter clothes and then I put all my summer clothes in a box. Now as you can see it's a bit chaotic because I have been kind of rummaging in there and because it was so hot this weekend, I wore some of the stuff. Sorry if the sound is a bit off, this mic when you get behind it, not so clear. Um, so yeah, I really wanna sort through that box and switch my wardrobe over. It's a hack I highly recommend so that your wardrobe is more organized because you don't need all your clothes out all the time. So um, I'm gonna do that and also hopefully get rid of some stuff and delve into here and I don't know, my, my life feels a bit disorganized and we're going on holiday really soon. So I need to buy a few bits for the holiday because I don't really have a bikini and um, I wanted to get like a jumpsuit for the holiday. I'm gonna probably buy something off Depop secondhand and there's a few sustainable swimwear brands that I wanna get something from, but I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Probably just gonna have a big salad because we have loads of salad. There was like literally, there was, we've got one, two, three, four, five packets of Rocket because it was reduced yesterday in Tesco. So that's what I'm gonna have, a load of Rocket and make myself a tofu salad, I think. And yeah, although there's not that much tofu. Hmm. What can I, I'll have a think and I'll show you when it's done. So I've just finished making my salad. Here it is. I'm not gonna tell you what's in it because I'm filming a food favorites video this week and go over and watch that one on Sunday um, to find out what's in this salad because it would take me a long time and this channel is not about, you know, food and stuff. It's a video that I'm thinking of doing more regularly, like a kind of what I ate during the week. I had a chat on Instagram about it, just about my feelings on what I ate today's and how I'm a bit unsure of making them just because of how that they can be a little bit triggering for some people. I don't ever wanna hurt people's feelings and make them feel <laughs> watching what I ate today's, but yeah, I'm figuring it out and I'm gonna test out a different style of video to show you like a like a variation of some of the foods I've been eating to give you some ideas and recipes and like vegan products that I love. So yeah, go check that out to see what was in this salad and other foods that I've been eating and stuff. Um, if you're interested in that kind of thing, but I'm gonna chow down on this and then probably make myself a cup of tea and then get decluttering. Guess who's back? Hello. Uh, again? It's really hot out. How much did it cost? 55 pounds. That's a good thing then. I failed. It failed the MOT? Yeah, but it was only lights. Okay. Which, which I cost 55 pounds. I thought I checked. No, 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 you have to fix it and then take it back to them. 
but it's free okay. to take it back to them. Okay, cool. But it's not like anything major, which is a relief. It was very weird this morning, this routine of not going out in the morning. What have you been doing? Because well, you haven't been to the gym. Well, that's what I mean. I finished like an hour early, so like normally I'd spend my morning emailing and Instagram and doing like the admin -y boring stuff, and then I'd like have lunch and then film or edit or whatever it was I was doing that day. So it's weird that I finished like early and I'm like, what do I do? So I just had lunch really early. I haven't yeah, had it yet. I'm like gonna have it now. Half eleven. <laughs> so I don't really have any idea if this is filming or not because our camera has just kind of broken the screen that you use on the side to show you what you're filming is just showing fuzzy um, white noise. We are now headed into town to go to a camera shop to ask them what's going on because the camera didn't fall over, it wasn't, you know, it didn't break, didn't like knock anything. We've never dropped this camera and it's second hand, but it was like new when we got it and it, there was no sh sign of anything wrong and I don't know. I'm hoping that he can tell us what's wrong or how to solve it because yeah, very annoying. Yeah. Especially because I was in the middle of filming a video and also we need to, I need to film other stuff today and tomorrow and yeah. this video as well. Didn't bring the other camera with us to vlog, should have done, but um, I'm not sure if this is even recording, but oh my gosh, nightmare. Right, so again, who bloody knows if this is filming, but I just went into the camera repair shop. Alex had to stay here because of parking. And he said, it's the LCD screens broken. He said for them to do it, it'd take them eight weeks to send away and turn around. But he said that there are Canon centers, not official Canon places, but they are kind of official um, that do it. And it'll be like a turnaround of about two weeks. But he said, and it'll cost about a hundred and something quid. Ah, yeah, no. But he said, talk to the seller first, because he yeah. said, that's the place to start if he's a reputable seller, which he was. He had like 11,000 reviews and it was like he had 100%. So he's, his job is to sell cameras online. So he might offer a refund and we can buy a new camera. I'm thinking at the moment, yeah, we'll, re we'll reach out to the seller and see what he says and maybe buy a new camera and see to ha how to go from there because I need the camera for filming. So yeah, very annoying. But it, think, it just uh, comes with the job, doesn't it? If you yeah. use cameras, then they're going to break. Well, that's such a weird one, though. It is weird, because we've not anything. dropped it. It was literally, we were filming. Mid-filming. And then we looked up and the screen had just gone funny. Yeah. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch happened. it, no. And it's ne we've never dropped it, nothing. So, very weird. Right, so we're switching back to the classic G7X. Um, I've just looked at the footage. It was filming, which is good. So, the camera isn't broken. It's just the LCD screen, which is what the guy said in the shop. Oh, so, so you, had, you had it zoomed in. Yeah, I had it zoomed in. <laughs> so we're going to contact the seller and see what he can do. And um, I think that in the meantime, we're going to buy, just buy a new one because we can still probably return it to him, but I need the camera for work. So, and I know that I could go back to using this camera, but it's like when you have, when you upgrade, it's very hard to go back to using what you were using before. And I have an idea of what my videos, what I want them to look like and what they want to be this week. So... Yeah, I really do need that camera. I was just saying to Alex how proud I am of us because I don't know about you, but I used to when I was younger, when bad things happen like this, I would cry, I would have a meltdown, I'd get really upset, I'd ring my mom, I'd feel very, very hard done by. And nowadays, because um, Alex would, not as bad as me, but he would as well get quite annoyed. Whereas nowadays we've managed to, I guess we've grown up and we've managed to figure out that there's no point in overreacting at all. It's just, we, you just have to deal with the situation. And um, I feel so much calmer in situations like this. Like it doesn't really bother me. Who's the guy who talks about this? I need to find him. Someone Ramsey. Go on. No, is it Ramsey? Really? No. Dave Ramsey. So Dave Ramsey, I watched a few of his videos last year. I can't remember who recommended it. Maybe it was a YouTuber. Maybe it was Sarah Nurse. I think she recommended it in a video of hers because she does lots of videos about um, being practical with money and saving and getting out of debt. And I said to Alex, I really want to be in a position by next year that um, the business is taking off to the point where we can both sustain ourselves off of it as a partnership and that we have savings, that we have our retirement sorted, that our accounts are all in order and everything's just a bit more grown up and organized. And I really feel like we're getting there. And he talks about having an emergency fund and having that in place before anything else. So that when things like this happen, you have money so that you can do stuff. And we've been budgeting and just making do and not really eating out and 
we set ourselves a budget at the start of this year and we don't live lavishly at all. We really do cut corners and we don't spend a lot and um, we really think about our purchases. Yeah, I definitely recommend you if you're looking to sort your money out and save and become more organized with it to check him out because I think one of his, I watched like a load of his videos and I became so inspired and we budgeted everything. This is before, just before we moved here in November. I think it was like October time. And um, it really helped, helped change my mentality. A lot of my past was overspending, um, overstretching myself and uh, focusing on material items and never having a, m enough money, never having any savings and always kind of living off of what I had in my bank account that week. And it's nice to have changed my approach and therefore changed my situation. Yeah, if that rings true for you as well and you're in that situation, maybe his videos will help and kind of setting yourself a budget and rethinking will help. So that when shit happens and life is annoying and your camera breaks, you can you can actually solve the problem. So anyway, sorry if that was a ramble. I just kind of thought maybe some of you might be interested in that because I ha that I am going to be doing a money video soon on my main channel, like a how to budget and save. So let's go. Have you not had lunch? You've got stuff all around your mouth. You haven't had lunch, have you? Uh, I've had half a lunch. Today is a very eventful day because now, Hi. guess what we're going to do? Can you well, guess? Well, well, we are going to collect my YouTube plaque. Times, my 100,000 YouTube plaque and also put in check. But this is the most exciting thing. We're actually going to go get this. And I'm so excited. Hi. Um, I'm here to collect a package. I'm going to be careful not to show you because it has the address. But look! Look at it! I can't wait to open it when we get back. Oh my god! Right, we're switching cameras because that one around the back <laughs> we're worried about it going wrong. But this is amazing. It's totally different from ones I've seen because I was just saying to Alex in the car that I remember YouTubers that I followed receiving these and being so like amazed that they'd reached 100,000 subscribers and it was such a huge deal. I think especially because back in the day, like when YouTube started, when I was watching and I was like 15, it was a massive deal if you had 100,000. Now it's more of a like common thing because YouTube's so big and there's so many big YouTubers that 100K isn't even that big anymore. But back in the day, 100K meant you were the real deal and you were one of the most popular on YouTube. It was like a big thing. But this is so cool. It's a lot smaller. They used to be in a glass and they used to be like um, black with the plaque on it and then yeah, I remember, I remember seeing them. Isn't well, that like a red pretty one? pretty cool though. Is it a million where you get like the red one? No, no, no. Gold? It's silver, gold and platinum. So oh, platinum okay. I think is 10 million. Whoa. Um, yeah, and gold is 1 million. They're trying to convince YouTube to come out with a 500k one because 500k is such a huge yeah. milestone as well. Um, but oh my gosh, this is so good. Let's read what it says. So YouTube. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. It's so amazing. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They're inspired, challenged, or entertained. This is so nice. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with a silver creator award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for awards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off from na right now, but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. Congratulations, yours sincerely, Susan Wokiki? Is that how you pronounce that? Wokiki? Oh, don't even. Sorry, I've sorted it's, uh, the name. It's, it's Polish, I'm not good with Woki Woki it. Wokiki? It's like Wojcicki or something. Oh, Wojcicki. Okay, so sorry about slaughtering the name. This is amazing. I think this is gonna have to go up behind the desk over there. Yeah. Like on the side. Just right in front of you when you're working. Yeah. And you can see yourself in the mirror. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I actually really love the design of it. It's so simple and lovely. It's nice. So the aim is now to have the silver, the gold and the platinum, because one day I'll reach 10 mil easy. Yeah, in like next year. Maybe you can just do a mock-up of a 500K one if you get there. I'll make, no, make, next make your own. year. Actually, no, I've seen someone do that before. Or Who just was it? turn that into a five instead of a one. I've seen someone do that where they they got uh, they made their own or someone made them a hmm. uh, hmm. 500k one or something. But um, ah, oh. yeah, no. Uh, this year we'll have the silver. Next year we'll have the gold, and then the following year will be the platinum. Easy. Easy. 
and then I can have one like three up above me. Oh no, we need to reach 100k on this channel. Maybe. Maybe, we will. <laughs> can I, I can just scratch out Madeline Olivia. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so cool. It's like embossed. Is it? Yeah, it's like raised. I have a feel. Hello everybody. Well, it, it does not like the lighting. Oh, nice. Oh my God. It even has a watermark. It's very surreal and very cool because it's weird being on the other side of it and watching other people get this sort of thing and then doing it yourself. It's really weird. I still can't, I can't really like this like pinch me moment right now. Upon further inspection, we did film a clip on the other camera. We thought we were filming, but we weren't. We didn't have the memory card in. So the last Good clip, job. <laughs> so the last clip of me with the plaque, we didn't film me opening it. Well, we did film me opening it, but it didn't come out. So just imagine that you've got a video of me opening it. Picture and the scene. Yeah. Maddie, opening a cardboard box. And. Interior. Uh, <laughs> shut up. And I think that um, I mentioned how excited I was, but if I didn't, I'm excited and let's get a thumbnail. I am very excited and thank you for subscribing. It's a lot later in the day. We were gonna go on a bike ride, but you know, you know how the story goes with us and bike rides. <laughs> we always wanna go on them and then we did loads today because of the camera breaking and like I was filming if, if and- If the camera hadn't messed up, we would've. Yeah, we, got, we yeah. ended up having to go into town and doing a few more bits. Not our fault. I feel a bit tired, so we're gonna have an early dinner because we both had early lunches. Well, Alex, you didn't even have lunch, you had muesli for lunch. No, that is- Terrifying. I had muesli, I had a date ball, and I had a handful of crisps and gummy bears. <laughs> so yeah, we're both quite hungry for dinner. And then we might go on a little walk because we didn't do a bike ride. And we're trying to do this thing, I don't know if I've said, but we're trying to do this thing where we are active every day so we don't just stay in the house because, have I said this in another video? Uh, ha, ha. Maybe. But yeah, basically we don't, when we work from home, I go to the gym about three days a week or four days a week and I go on a run and maybe a bike ride and then there's about two, maybe one or two days of the week where sometimes I just stay in the house all day and I don't move really at all. Maybe even all I do is go to Tesco or all I do is literally just stay in the house. So I said we needed to have a resolution this month where we have 30 days where we go for a walk or get outside and move our body every single day. Yes. Because it's not good to sit all day long in your house, not doing anything. And it's, you do it more than I do because you don't go to the gym. Yeah, It's not hard to uh, want to do it now though in this weather. Yeah, the days when I stay inside and I don't do anything, I don't move my body at all, I can feel a bit low and a bit anxious and a bit weird. I get that, I had that yeah. the other day. I felt very unproductive all day. And then suddenly when I went outside, I don't know, it smells nice outside. You feel invigorated yes. and you, you get stuff done. Yeah, I think it's very natural. It's a natural human sensation to feel that, and I think you can't deny it. Not you need you gotta you gotta get outdoors. When I go to the beach and I walk home, I take my headphones off and take a few minutes to sit on the beach every day. Mm -hmm. I don't always sit down, but I stand there without my headphones because I think it's it's important to not be plugged in and have something in your ears. Yeah. But anyway, let's make dinner. Dinner is served, and Outlander is about to go on the TV. Uh, okay. Alex loves Outlander. Yeah, I might go do something else. <gasps> By the way, I know that there was a lot of comments saying about Outlander being historically accurate and that's why it has to be brutal. I totally get that. I, that's not really, really not what I meant. I feel like I didn't emphasize how much I love it. Like I honestly absolutely love the show and I totally appreciate it. Um, the way it's filmed, the way it's been done is perfect to show realism and to accurately represent it. I was just saying for me personally, it can be a bit like, oh, mm. seeing somebody be I don't want to give it away, but like seeing someone be like brutally tortured is not nice to watch. So that's all I was meaning. I can't watch war movies because I'm really sensitive. Maybe it's because you don't realize how sensitive I am. Like I can't watch a war movie because I will just bawl my eyes out. I find realistic violence really hard. So I'm quite sensitive. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's all I meant, but yeah. I love it and I'm obsessed and we're on season two. And it's so good. I'm so excited for it because they're in France and it's all exciting. Yeah, but look at us eating dinner in the daylight, eh? I know. I'm so used to having to edit these uh, dinner clips at the end when it's all like horrible and dark and I have to change the lighting. Mm. This is great. Come on then. 
I tried to do the little kick thing where you go like, but it failed. He said he doesn't want to. Go on. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tight now. Good night, everybody. We had so a nice, soon. we had a very nice stroll. It's not over yet. Yeah, it we're is. We're only halfway there. But we're going home now. Yeah. Today has been a great day. Receiving the plaque. Oh, actually, no, it hasn't been. It. Do you know that's a good thing? I thought of it as a really good day because we received the plaque, and I've forgotten about this <coughs> situation with the camera. So I'm choosing yeah. to think of the positive. All's well that ends well. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Tell all your friends. <laughs> Tell your friends that we're your favourite on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay then. Bye. Bye bye. Oh.